So this is one of my first things. And I want to talk about how I think Coinbase is crumbling from internally. And I think, I don't know they're going to be around. I mean, look, they're not going anywhere for a long time. And I'm going to tell you why. But they are crumbling, I think. And I think they're doing the wrong things. And I think it's going to lead to a lot of... Uh, negative returns so the first thing is of course this xrp support i mean if you have all these people you should be supporting it the second thing and we've talked about this numerous times on this channel and that is the coinbase shutdowns now i started i have two playlists one is the essentials which is all the basic things everybody needs to know like bull runs uh, avoiding scams and spams and you know how to uh, you know do dollar cost averaging all those things i mean the basic basic it's super important and then the only other playlist that I have is the Coinbase shutdowns because I want to keep track of it. And actually, it's kind of after November 15th, I just, there's eight. There's eight in there. And there was a one that just came up uh, just a couple of days ago, which same type of thing. Coinbase was down yet again. And there's all these different outages. And Alex Maschioli, he was on the show. He said, it's it's inexcusable that you have this large of an entity with so many people's crypto and dollars that you go down at the most inopportune times when there's a huge fluctuation and people are trying to trade. That is really uh, unacceptable. And it's, it amazes me right now that people still go into Coinbase. And they were actually the catalyst for why I created the exchange and wallet fees, uh, because their fees are like astronomically crazy. And I just talked about all the ones that I use. And I talk about Celsius and Voyager and Gemini Uphold, and Uniswap. I mean, everything else that you could use. I think when people come in, they don't realize it because they're just like, oh, well, I hear about Coinbase. My friend talked about Coinbase. I'm going to see his Coinbase. It's why I created this. And it's why I created uh, Dan Teaches Crypto. So I could teach everybody about the basics and the fundamentals. And I just added a new video in about all the people that are into PayPal and they're buying Bitcoin. Why? Of course, you can do that. That's fine. Everybody's different. But why cryptocurrency digital assets really the whole power is in decentralization and paypal is a centralized entity and what that means for you now and in the future so that's just one of the basic and simple videos that i put on on this website so again uh, a multi-billion dollar company shouldn't have this many outages i mean youtube is a, is a huge company billion dollar company as well and when they go down people are like what the heck i mean it just happened like two weeks ago but it's rare once i mean when's the last time besides two weeks ago that youtube went down it's like it doesn't happen so coinbase should be the same way so there's that the xrp also i had i had heard rumblings on this, this is from the New York Times, and it talks about uh, discrimination, about how Coinbase treats some of their employees. I'm not going to get into that, but I mean, where there's smoke, there's fire. And last thing I want to talk about competition. When I got in 2017, it was Coinbase and Binance, and you know, there were some other small ones, but that was pretty much it. I mean, fast forward three years later, I mean, look at everything that you got. I mean, that are actually, you know, really well known. Like Kraken, Kraken was around. It wasn't as big as what it is right now. And then, you know, Gemini, that was also pretty small, but, it, you know, it came up. Binance, of course, was Binance, Uphold Abra, and then other things like Simple Swap and Uniswap, Cash App, and now PayPal. I mean, that's a lot of competition to really digest. And the reason why Coinbase is doing so well now is because they are America based. And a lot of people in America, I mean, everybody in America can use Coinbase. I think even New York residents can use Coinbase. And it's like the only game in town. And that's why I think that Brian is so leery about regulation and everything being opened up because once everything gets opened up once somebody like me who is in texas and i have a you know limited amount can use other places like let's just call a spade a spade binance global if i could use binance global i'd be buying a lot more things over there i well i don't use coinbase anyhow but i would definitely use it a lot more and then just looking at like these decentralized exchanges uniswap simple swap and then the ones that are coming out like sell swap i mean haven't you isn't it amazing how much you've seen coinbase change in 2017 it was like four coins excuse me it was three coins it was bitcoin ethereum litecoin and that was it and then when bitcoin cash came around which was a very interesting thing i might remind you if you weren't around it was amazing how uh 24 hours before bitcoin cash was about to list on coinbase the the actual price skyrocketed because somebody told somebody and i'm not going to say it's manipulation but it was manipulation <laughs> I'll just, I'll just call it what it is and that went crazy and then all of a sudden like every different coin they were such the kingmakers back then every single coin 
that came out became like this huge, enormous thing. Now, I don't think it's it's going to be like that again. I, I think Coinbase has its part, but I think the next big kingmaker is PayPal. The next coin that PayPal lists will go to the moon. So again, competition, I think it's big. And I think it's all these factors together are really going to drive down Coinbase and their market share. It's like eBay. I mean, eBay used to be, remember eBay? How big eBay was? Well, what happened? Well, they got beat by a better model, drop shipping and Amazon. So, and then here we are. But I will just say this, just take a look at the volume per exchange. Uh, if you take a look at the rankings, this is just two years ago. This is data.bitcoin data.bitcoinity.org and this is just for for bitcoin to find all the different other rankings is kind of tough out there i'll be i'll be honest with you but this is what we have as far as bitcoin so we'll just take a look at this so this is two years ago just so you know brown is coinbase so they had 17 and a half percent pretty good bitfinex was at 38 percent and you know kraken 12 so pretty awesome right then you take a look at six months not really a big change 28 percent in a little fluctuation 30 days 23 percent seven days 30%, 26%, somewhere around there, 26 to 30%, three days. 27%, 25%, pretty consistent. So when I talk about all these things, people are like, well, I thought you said it was crumbling. I still believe it is crumbling. I just think that as time goes on, you take all these factors, not listening to your customers, internal conflicts, constant outages, constant outages, and finally massive competition. On top of the fact that when they re really get legislation and it opens it up to everybody, they're not going to go away, but it'll be quite a chunk of loss as far as market share. And that's my take. All right, that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments section. That is it for the XRP airdrop uh, spark. Hopefully it all goes well. Looks to be pretty good. I will be keeping most of mine on uh, Celsius and Voyager. Yeah, well, actually, no, I have my Nano as well. So uh, that's about it. And now let me tell you about some smart coffee. So this is smart coffee. I thought this is a pretty good gift, especially with Christmas coming about, or if you're like me and you just want a little bit more clarity, focus, and memory, all that good stuff. Uh, just so you know, this is not a uh, sponsored product. I just bought it off my friend Cass, and uh, I thought, well, this might actually help some other people. So what this is all about is I like coffee, I also like chocolate. And uh, what's great about this is that it helps me with that mental clarity and getting through all the things. So I, I'd like to combine two things, things that will help me uh, be a little bit more clear in my thoughts, give me a little bit more clarity, and give me a little bit more energy. So I'll just combine both of them. Fantastic. So what it has in it is the most basic things, right? Colombian dark roast, cocoa, extracts, and all that stuff. But it's the L-theanine, the PEA, and the AGPC, which is the most interesting parts about it. So the question I was asking is, what is in the product that I'm actually consuming. So the theanine, also known as L-theanine, it's an amino acid. It's usually in green tea, which is supposed to be great for you. But the studies show that theanine could help with dementia, high blood pressure, and unhealthy cholesterol levels. So I have uh, dementia that runs in my family, so I will definitely take that. Also for high blood pressure, I get a little ticked off sometimes, so I'm sure it goes sky high. I could help that. Next one is phenethalamine or PEA, and it's good for depression, attention, mood, and weight loss. I don't really need help with the weight loss, but you know, one of my brothers does, so <laughs> why not? You could use it. And again, if it's gonna help me, it's something that I already drink, so I might as well take that. Then the alpha GPC, alpha glycerol phosphorylcholine. It helps to increase acetylcholine, which is in the brain. This is important for memory and learning function. So again, another one to help you with mental clarity and memorization. So it comes in three different flavors. You got your regular smart coffee, you got your nitro, which the only difference in nitro is that it has uh, nitric oxide, which is great for relaxing smooth muscles. So like our blood vessels, that's what is comprised of our blood vessels, helps to relax them. So if you have high blood pressure, this can actually help you as well. And also, if you don't like uh, coffee, you got chocolate. It comes in chocolate. I like chocolate. And then the last or the fourth one is if you don't like chocolate or coffee, it also comes in pink lemonade. So either way you want to. The only problem is, is that their website sucks. So if you want to order the uh, smart coffee for yourself or anybody in your family or loved ones, especially for Christmas coming up, then there's going to be a link in the description. It looks just like this. And uh, I separated them into four. Uh, this, the regular smart coffee, the smart coffee with nitro, the hot chocolate lemonade, and it goes to those four. And the reason I did that is because the website's very jumbled where I get it at, so I just gave you the four direct links. Again, this isn't a sponsor promotion. My friend Cass recommended it to me because she knows I like coffee, and uh, I take it, really like it, and uh, I thought it might help you out. 
So that's it for today. So if you like these types of videos, uh, there's going to be two more that's going to pop up on your left and right. I'll let YouTube do their magic on that one. And uh, that is it for Sunday. So uh, stay safe out there. Go watch your football and have a great day. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.